Thank you, Dr. Stack, for your welcome remarks and also for supporting CRI's mission and its efforts to reach out to the South Florida community through public programs such as today's concert. I'd like to uh, recognize now several members of the audience who are very important to the work that we do at the Cuban Research Institute. First of all, Mr. Cristobal Diaz Ayala. I don't know if Cristobal has arrived yet. <laughs> Don Cristobal is the creator of the Cuban and Latin American popular music collection here at FIU, and he's accompanied by his wife, Marisa, who also works very much with the library. Dr. Carmelo Mesalago, a uh, distinguished <laughs> service professor. Dr. Mesalago and his wife, Elena. Dr. Mesalago is a distinguished service professor emeritus at the University of Pittsburgh and also a member of CRI's Community Advisory Board. There are several other members of the community. I'm not sure if they have arrived yet, but we wanted to recognize uh, Ms. Sandra Gonzalez Levi. I don't know if she's here yet. I don't think uh, she's here. And also Dr. Irma, Irma Becerra Fernandez, who uh, work here at FIU as Senior Vice President of External Relations and Vice President for Engagement. Dr. Frank Mount Mora is here, the director of the Latin American and Caribbean uh, Center. <laughs> the Latin American and Caribbean Center is also a sponsor of this event. Dr. Ines Triay and his, uh, her, her, her mother, Ines. Dr. Triay is the director of the Applied Research Center here at FIU. Dr. Uva de Aragon is, is on this side. <laughs> Uva is one of the founders and the former associate director of the Cuban Research Institute. And uh, uh, Dr. Juan Antonio Blanco is sitting somewhere uh, in here. Yes, there you go. And his wife, Marlene, welcome. Dr. Blanco is the director of the Latin American and Caribbean Initiatives at Miami Dade College and a former visiting associate uh, director of CRI. A couple of other people that we want to recognize are Mr. Raul Rodriguez, uh, somewhere in the audience, from Rodriguez and Quiroga. He's a founding partner of that architectural firm and also a member of the President's Advisory Board. And Ms. Julieta Valls of a la carte decorating. Julieta. A very frequent collaborator of all our events. We also have several members of our advisory board, our community advisory board, uh, and I hope I won't miss any of you, but Humberto Calzada, the artist, is sitting right here on this side. Luis de la Vega, Dr. de la Vega, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Pro Translating, one of our sponsors of, the, of this event as well. Let me may, maybe mention them all together and then you can applaud them at the end. Eric de la Fuente, the CEO of EDF Communications. Mr. Jose Manuel Pallí, uh, where are you, Jose Manuel? There you go. And his wife as well, President of Worldwide uh, Title Services. Ms. Uh, Lili Prietzo, uh, I think I saw Lili earlier, and uh, her husband, Steve. Uh, Lili is a writer and editor. Monica Rabasa, uh, who is the Vice President of Marketing, Corporate Communications and Public Affairs at Univision Radio, which is also one of our sponsors. And finally, but not, least, uh, not less importantly, Mr. Carlos Saladrigas is here as well, somewhere in the audience, uh, Chairman and, and CEO of Regis HR Group. This wonderful group of people from the community are helping us in many of our events and reaching out to the community. So let me just uh, briefly say a few words now about the Cuban Research Institute, which is the main sponsor of this event. The Institute is dedicated to creating and disseminating knowledge about Cuba and its diaspora, including but not limited to the Cuban diaspora in the United States. The Institute encourages original research and teaching, organizes extracurricular activities, collaborates with other academic units who work with Cuban and Cuban American studies here at FIU, and promotes the development, development of library holdings and art collections on Cuba and its diaspora. We draw on the expertise of more than 45 faculty associates, which actually is the largest number of specialists on Cuba and the Cuban American community in the United States. No other US, US university surpasses FIU in the number of professors and students of Cuban origin. Our internationally recognized faculty members teach a wide range of courses covering Cuban and Cuban American history, politics, society, and the arts. Since its foundation in 1991, CRI has generated an exceptional level of research, teaching, and outreach activities, including numerous lectures, seminars, conferences, book presentations, and concerts such as this one. The annual Class Classically Cuban concert has been one of CRI's signature events, and we're proud to present it once again. 
Before we move on to the program, I'd like to recognize the co-sponsors of today's concert, uh, some of which I've already mentioned. Uh, you have them on the program, but I'd just like to recognize them again. Caldas Rum will be distributing some of their good stuff at the end of the reception. Islas Canarias Cafe, restaurant and bakery, uh, the food. Latin American Caribbean Center at FIU, Pro Translating, Radio Mambi, and Univision America have kindly contributed to the success of this event. On a personal note, I'd like to remember my mother-in-law, Dr. Emilia Herminia Guerra Rensoli, an accomplished piano teacher who loved the music of Lequan. Finally, I want to acknowledge the collaboration of several people here at FIU who have made this concert possible. First of all, Aime Correa, CRI's Public Affairs, Affairs Manager, who oversees all of the practical details of organizing this event for several months. Sebastian Arcos, Associate Director of CRI. Paola Salavarria, our Office Assistant. CRI staff members, Lenny Gomez and Alfredo Gomez, uh, Gonzalez. I think I got them wrong, the last names. Uh, Lenny Gonzalez and Alfredo Gomez. All of the volunteer staff and members uh, and students who have helped us uh, today, including members of the Cuban American Student Organization. And of course, our main um, uh, person here uh, today, who is uh, Mr. Emilio Cueto uh, and uh, FIU music professor, uh, Armando Tranquilino, as well as the ensemble of musicians and singers who will perform tonight. This is the sixth time that Emilio and Armando have collaborated to produce this wonderful series of concerts. So it is now my great pleasure to introduce the distinguished Cuban attorney, independent scholar, and collector Emilio Cueto, who will guide you through the rest of the program. Uh, please help me welcome Emilio. 